Hey everybody, we're back again with another short video. I'm gonna show you today how to inspect your fluids on your Isuzu NPR. This is a 2016 model uh, V8. You need to stay on top of this, this is really important. Uh, we're gonna be looking at our windshield washer fluid, brake fluid, coolant, power steering fluid, oil and transmission fluid. I'm also gonna give the intervals on which you need to change these. It should be in your owner's manual, but if you don't have it for some reason um, or need a refresher, I'll go over that with you. We're here on the passenger side of the vehicle and we're right next to where we fill our windshield washer fluid and our coolant. So let's get started. On the passenger side here, when you open the door, your windshield washer fluid is right on the side of the dash. You've got a little spy window right here where you can see the level of your fluid ours is right here and just keep this topped off it's pretty self-explanatory on you just fill it all the way up to the cap here you'll probably need a funnel the angle of the opening here is a little weird so i usually use a small funnel pan down right here to my left right there is where you fill your coolant Your coolant reservoir has a minimum, maximum fill line. On oil change, whenever you top off your fluids, we'd obviously wanna bring this uh, coolant up to this maximum fill line. You're gonna inspect this every oil change. Uh, you need to replace your coolant every 50,000 miles. You saw a minute ago where the windshield washer fluid was on the side of the dashboard on the passenger side up here. We're gonna jump over to the driver's side on the side of the dashboard. That's where your master cylinder reservoir is for your brake fluid. Up here on the driver's side of, side of the dashboard, you pop this cover off and here's where your master cylinder is. This brake fluid is dot three and it's got a clear color to it. So it may be a little difficult to see exactly where your line is. A little tip that I do if I have trouble seeing it is you can put a flashlight, stick it against the reservoir here and it'll show you a little better where your fluid is. This brake fluid needs to be inspected every oil change and if it gets dirty or looks, looks dark, then it should be replaced. The manufacturer's recommendation is to inspect or replace every oil change. Um, if it and if it looks good, it needs to just be re replaced every 30,000 miles. This is super important. Brake fluid is hygroscopic, it absorbs moisture. Uh, this contaminated fluid will wear out your master cylinder and your brake calipers. And if you've ever done a master cylinder on one of these vehicles or a brake booster, you know how much of a pain it is. You have to take the entire dash out. Uh, just every 30,000 miles to do a do a brake flush get get you a one-man bleeder hook it on the back Wheel cylinder on the passenger side and just flush out all that fluid We're gonna raise the cab up now and move on to the power steering fluid A good reference point for your power steering fluid is right below your alternator it's this cap right here and if you're truck starts making a buzzing noise whenever you're turning the steering wheel uh, this should be the first place you want to check it's also got a minimum maximum line it'll show you where it's it should be full whenever the fluid's cold it says full cold right there it's hard to focus in on it but check that power steering fluid if you're hearing some funny noises or your steering starts acting funky on you, uh, this fluid, it says in the manual to replace it every 37,500 miles. It's kind of a odd number, but if you're wanting to stay on top of this stuff like you should, then 37,500 rolls over, go ahead and flush your power steering fluid. We're done on the driver's side of the vehicle. We've got our tilt cab up. We're going to walk around here to the other side and finish the video off with the oil and the transmission fluid. Your engine oil is Dexos 5W30 and the oil capacity is 6 quarts on this V8. 
your dipsticks are right here for your oil. You've got your minimum, maximum line. It's a good idea to check this whenever the truck's cold. You'll get an accurate reading. The truck's been running for a while. You need to let it sit before you check it to get an accurate measurement on the dipstick. Transmission fluid is the complete opposite. You actually want to check the transmission fluid when the truck's under normal operating conditions. You want to have the truck running, uh, have it heated up, transmission fluid expands, and uh, your accurate reading on your dipstick is whenever it's hot. And the magic happens right here at this dipstick. This is where you're going to inspect your transmission fluid, fill your transmission fluid, and make sure that it's you know in good shape this is this is going to tell you what's going on inside there it's your transmission is just important as your engine it's a good red color then you know your fluid is okay it's going to start to get a, a burnt color to it like a brown color and that's when you know you need to replace it i'm going to make a video on how to do a transmission service uh, from beginning to end in the near future. The manual says to replace your transmission fluid every 52,500 miles. And you need to pay really, really close attention to this fluid because it, it heat ruins it. I mean, simple as that. It, it burns it up and you need to pay attention to when your fluid's starting to, to show its face that it needs to be changed. It may be sooner than 52,500 miles, but at those 50,000 mile intervals, you need to stay on top of it. I hope that helps somebody. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna continue making videos uh, to help you all out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy them and have a great day.